Okay, so let's get started build this thing. Okay, so we're going to cover rounded corners. We're going to cover horizontal tabs. We're going to do drop shadows. We're going to do boxes with drop shadows, text with drop shadows using my simple, simple. We're not going to touch code. We're going to do the whole thing from the Dreamweaver interface. Okay, now before we go further, we should set up our basic HTML rules. Rules for the tags, for the tags. Now, I don't have any H1 or H2 tags, but I'm just gonna set that up ahead of time. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click new CSS rule. I'm gonna pull down here to tag and I'm gonna replace that with H1. I'm gonna put an H1 tag. My H1 tag is going to be, let's make the H1 tag be purple and let's make my H1 tag be two M's. So my body tag is set to one M, or I could say 2.2 M's. Therefore, it's two and a half times bigger than the body tag. It's a smart thing to do. Let's make this capitalized. Now again, I don't have an H1 tag. So I can turn this to an H1 tag by simply hitting command key one, or I come down here to my settings in my property palette, H1 to H2. So the simple way to do that is Command-1 or Control-1 Windows. Command-2 is H2. Command-3 is H3. Now, I'm back based here, guys. I don't want to keep repeating myself. But if I say the Command key for Windows, it's the Control key. If I say the Option key for Macintosh, it's the Alt key. So now I can set a whole list of rules for my H2 H3, H4, H5. So how can I do this? Very simply, come down here to the bottom right, new CSS rule. We're going to go to compound. This is a combination of more than one. So we're going to say H2, comma, H3, comma, H4, comma, H5. We will touch the H6. We'll just do H2 through 5. Now, very important step here. What would I not want to change here? I not want to change the size because they're for the all default to the same size. But just because I can't, I'm going to set the font differently. I'm going to set the font to courier, courier, bolder, bolder, orange, and I'm going to make this capitalized. So therefore, my fonts, my font is going to be changed. H2, H3, H4, H5 is going to be bolder, capitalized, orange. So therefore, if this is H1 tag, command 1, and I hit turn key and put tag line, make this an H2 tag, command 2, that's an H2 tag. Okay, now, if this is too big for you, so the more I look at this, I think that type is too big. So I'm going to double click my H1 tag, and simply change that to 1.9 M's, which is 1.9 bigger than my body copy. Okay, so here I have some basic HTML tag rules, basic rules for my tags, basic rules for my tags. Now, the most important tag to put on the page is to set everything on the page so it has no padding, no spacing. We're going to use the asterisk tag. The asterisk tag is also known as the universal selector tag, also known as the wildcard tag. We're going to come down here and we're going to say compound and put an asterisk tag. It's simply a shift A key. So we're going to set the box padding to zero and margin to zero. This is going to zero out all the HTML tags on the page. So if I have any kind of default space, it's going to get rid of it. That should go up here. So body tag. Okay, now I'm gonna set the whole thing to be body tag. So I don't want this to be an H1 tag. I'm just gonna come down here and change this to paragraph. Now everything on the page is a paragraph. Now we're gonna go and get some text. So I'm going to go to Firefox and Firefox. I'm just going to go and type in I V S U M. 
goes to my favorite text generator. I select this and I want to generate five paragraphs. So to generate five paragraphs, we're simply going to come here and copy and paste. Go back to Dreamweaver. I'm going to take this information and paste. Okay. Copy, paste. Simple, 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 simple. Now, if you're thinking your body tag looks too big at this point, we could double click this and change this. Now, again, our preferences from the first video was change to 16 pixels. So if this is looking too big for you, let's make this 0.8 M's, which is going to make it considerably smaller. But it's also going to make my H1 tag smaller because the H1 tag is based on my M space. Okay, so here's my body copy. Now, a little trick here, command minus, command key minus, zooms out, command key plus, zooms in, control for windows. Okay, now there's two ways we could build this site. We can build this site just by putting in HTML tags first and then put the content in, or we can wrap this content inside of HTML tags, okay? So I think a simpler way for you guys to comprehend this is we're going to take this content right now. We're just going to delete it. In fact, let's do this. Let's do a save as. I'll show you both techniques here. Let's go to file, save as. Let's save this as version two. So version one's up here. Version two is here. Version two has no content, but of course I do have my rules. Okay, so here's a simple, simple, simple way to get started with HTML tags. First of all, HTML tags consist of the new HTML formatting. Header tags, nav tags, section tag, article tag, the aside tag, the footer tag. These are not div tags, guys. These are physical defined HTML tags. The type of tags that you would find if you came over here and selected tag. This is the list of all the tags, HTML and HTML4. However, there's tags for the header tag. There's tags for the article tag, and I'm just typing to it. So these tags are available for you in CS5 and CS5.5. So we're going to put in a basic page layout. We're going to start with the header tag by simply typing H-E-A-D-E-R, spacebar. Now, Actually, before I put that space bar, I'm going to put a comma here. Then I'm going to hit the space bar. So header is going to be followed by nav, N-A-V, comma, space bar. Nav is going to be followed by the aside tag, A-S-I-D-E, comma, space bar. That's going to be followed by the section tag, S-E-C-T-I-O-N, comma. Inside the section tag, we're going to have the article tag, A-R-I, article, comma, space, followed by the footer tag. So these are the names of my HTML5 tags. These are not div tags. Now, to start out here, we're going to put these HTML5 tags inside of a div tag called wrapper. So those rules still apply here. So we're going to select the body tag, select all the content here. We're going to come up here under layout, not common, not anything else up here. We're going to select layout. And the first icon right here is insert div tag. We're going to insert a div tag called wrapper. Now, for those of you that have seen my previous videos, we're going to make a flexible web design. This is going to be 100% with by default. So we're going to hit the K. Now we're going to define this rule. So similar to previous videos, select the tag, select the tag in the bottom left-hand corner, and make a rule. Come over here to the CSS rule definitions, the CSS styles palette, and new rule. We're going to make a rule for this new ID tag. ID tags can be applied to anything. ID div tag, ID a paragraph tag, ID an H tag. This particular case, IDing the wrapper tag. So we're going to make this 
box dimension be 100%. So it's going to take the entire width of the page 100%. Now, very cool step here. What I want to share with you is I'm going to take this selected content here and put that inside of another div tag called container div. The container div is going to contain the content of the page itself, which is going to consist of header, nav, side, section, article, footer. So watch how this works. It's really cool. I want to have a flexible website that goes the entire width, but I want the content to be in the center set up to 80% of the width. So watch this. So we can say select the content. This content is selected. We're going to move up here to insert div tag and we're going to call container div. Okay, so that's the container for the content for the page. The wrapper is setting the position of the entire site. So you can put a div inside of a div inside of a div inside of a div. So we're just going to keep this simple. So container div, container div is the one that's going to be in the center of the page. So notice down here in the bottom left, container div is inside of a wrapper. Wrapper, of course, is inside of body. So we're going to select the tag, select the tag, and make a rule. Now, I don't have to say wrapper container, wrapper body. I just want to be less specific. So container div is going to be, let's make container div be a width of 80%. 80% of the 100%, okay? So we want to put this in the center of our page. So we're going to align it to the right automatically, align it to the left automatically, and automatically be aligned to the center of the page. So this is now in the center of the page, okay? Now it has no definition here. If we haven't defined a color or a border, we'll do that later, okay? Good habit to get into, make a change, save a change. Make a change, save a change. Now, here's my time-tested technique. If you look at other HTML videos on YouTube, they drive you insane with code. I'm going to make this so simple, it's child's play. If you can copy and paste, you can do this very simply. What's the name of the tag? That's the name of the tag. Header is the name of my HTML5 tag. I'm going to copy that, Command-C. Control C windows. Now I want to wrap that content inside of a tag called header. So the simplest way to do this without going to my code is to hit command T quick tag editor. This is going to wrap the content with opening header tag and a closing header tag. If you do this in code, you have to do the opening and the closing. But if you get to know Dreamweaver shortcuts and share my techniques here, and T brings up this dialog box. Now I can simply paste, copy, paste, hit the return key once, twice. This is now inside the header tag. How cool is that? How simple is that? Forget the code. Forget these other videos on YouTube. They don't know what they're talking about. They're going to drive you insane. I'm going to make it so simple. It's frightening. Okay. Double click, nav, copy, command T or control T, windows. Case, there's my nav tag, return key once, return key twice, okay? Double click the aside tag, tag, copy, command T, paste, return key once, return key twice. Now, this next step is a little more difficult here. We want the article tag to be inside the section tag by default. So we're going to double click the section tag, copy it, command C, then we're going to select both the section and the article tag, the section and the article tag. So make sure that they're both selected because in order to be effective, they have to be selected. Now I hit Command T and put them both inside the section tag. So if you look down here on the bottom left, you'll see that this is the section tag. They're both inside the section tag. Now I want the article tag to be inside the section tag. So I double click article. I copy, command T, again it says wrap tag, paste, return key once, return key twice. Child's play, simple, simple, simple. Now the article tag is inside the section tag. That's what I wanted. 
I didn't have to do this and then go to the code and then change things around. It's very simple to do if you know the program. If you think Dreamweaver, my objective is to get you to think the way the software thinks. Think, learn, earn. The whole objective of any of my videos is to teach you techniques that will make you money, money. This whole video series, everything I do on YouTube is based on one thing, how to make money with your skills. So if you can outshot the next person, if you can produce things quicker and faster, you can make money. So footer tag, double click, copy. Command C, Control C, Command T for quick tag, Editor or Control T, Windows, Command T, Macintosh, Paste, Return Key once. Okay, so now I have these different tags. Here's my header tag, here's my nav tag, here's my aside tag, here's my section tag, here's my article tag, which is inside of the section tag, and here's my footer tag. So in our next video, in our next video, we'll format this and build the site with rounded corners, job shadows, all the cool stuff that a website should have these days and make things flexible. So stay tuned.